Good afternoon, this is Jim Blakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas, here from the Shepherd Center on Channel 3 Cable and sandylandcenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, it's the 11th of March, 63 and sunny here at noontime here in the square. <coughs> And the next six days are all going to be sunny. So I will just give you the high temperature. Uh, today, 74. Thursday, 72. Friday, 71. Sunday, 65. And I'm sorry, that was Saturday, 65. Sunday, 73. And Monday, 78. That's incredible, and it's so much better. We need to thank God for the good weather and replacing those freezing temperatures that we had. <coughs> we have happy birthday today to Robert Ives and Betsy Williamson, and we have none for tomorrow. We hope that Robert and Betsy have great birthdays, and you've got terrific weather uh, to celebrate your birthday. <coughs> One of the things that's happening is uh, that every Wednesday at 7 o'clock, for the next few Wednesdays, the St. John Hudson Ministers Alliance are having a Lenten breakfast at the First United Methodist Church at 7 o'clock. <clears throat> so that's something we invite everybody to come to, and uh, we hope that you would enjoy it the singing and the homily and a little bit of breakfast together with some Christian friends. <clears throat> then the Recreation Commission has uh, a few things that are happening. They're having a lunch at the Dutch Kitchen on March 19th, which is Thursday next week. And uh, they're going to go shopping at Stutzman's and Glenn's food, Bulk Foods. They leave at 10.30 and come back at 3.30, and uh, the cost is $7. Then they're going to Inman to the Harvest Cafe, and uh, they're having a traditional German food, and uh, that's going to be on Thursday, March 26. And they leave at 10, come back at 2.30, and the cost is $8 plus what you buy to eat. <clears throat> and finally, right at the last day of the month, the 31st on Tuesday, they have a Dodge City, Dodge City Casino trip, and you can also go to the shopping mall, which is right near it, and they're going to leave at 8, come back at 4, and the price is $8 for the gasoline. <clears throat> So, support the Red Commission and go to some of these uh, trips. Now, the city of St. John is looking for people for the summer for various jobs. And all these are going to, uh, uh, well, two of them are on March 17th. Let's do those two uh, uh, first. And so the, uh, they're accepting part-time help for the summer season, mowing and trimming city properties, but not limited to that. Somebody has to be 17 years old. And, and then the next one is accepting bids for mowing and trimming of the property that's in violation of the city code. And that one also closes on March 17th. And in both of these cases, the uh, job descriptions and application forms are at City Hall. Then the last one <clears throat> is for a swimming pool manager. And uh, again, uh, the applications and whatnot are at City Hall. And for more information, you can call 549-3208. And uh, that should help out for the summer when they get those positions filled. 
Now, we have our favorite thing, the menus at the fellowship meals. In the Maxville VIP Center, they're having ham and beans today. Tomorrow, uh, spaghetti with meat sauce and green beans. And on Friday, baked fish filet. While here at the Sunflower Center Fellowship Meal, they're having chicken pot pie today with green salad and a biscuit. Then uh, lasagna tomorrow with green beans and garlic bread. And on Friday, tuna rice casserole with spinach and a biscuit. So those are the menus. And uh, that's all the news and announcements we have. We ask you to stay tuned for a little uh, presentation about a program called God's Story that follows after the word of the day. So the word of the day is this. <clears throat> Happiness can't be measured by one's wealth. A person with $8 million probably isn't a bit happier than somebody with only $7 million. This is Jim Lakey saying have a great Wednesday and thank God for the weather. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, this is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, and finally, of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. With, with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday School. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.